Hello, teachers and students out there and class. Thank you. You may be seated, please. All right. Let's go back to our last lesson. What did we say matter is? What is matter? What do you think matter is from our last lesson? Nora, thank you. Nora, first hand up. Matter is everything around us. Matter is everything around us. Good. That includes the clothes we wear, the air that we breathe, the food that we eat. Those are all matter. In our lesson, we will still look at matter. This time, we will be looking at three specific groups which matter is classified under. And they are, who can tell me? We touched a bit on it in our last lesson, in our activity. So who can tell me what they are? Okay, good. Okay, Lorraine put her hands up, so we'll have Lorraine. Solid, liquid, and gas. They are solid, liquid, and gas. That will be our topic for today. Three stages of matter which Lorraine has named. The three stages of matter which is solid, liquid, and gas. Jordan, could you blow up this balloon for us? I would like you to look at this balloon. This is the balloon I have with me here. So I'll give it to Jordan, and he'll blow it up. You upset Jordan and tell us what happens to it. <clears throat> Thank you, Jordan. Show it to the class. Can someone tell me what happened to the balloon? He blew the balloon. He blew the balloon. And what happened to the balloon? It went big. It went big. What did he blow into the balloon? He blew in air. air. Right. Thank you, Jordan. Can we see air? No, we, we cannot see air. But we can feel air. So he blew some air into the balloon. So is air a matter? Lekka. What do you think? Is air, can we say that air is also matter? Yeah. Yes. Can you give us one reason why you say air is also matter? Because it can take up space. Good. Excellent. She said that it can take up space. So, like any other matter, air took up the space in the balloon. And so the balloon, what? Expanded or it got bigger. All right. In our last lessons, we looked at a lot of materials inside the classroom and some that you brought from home. So today we will be in groups, you will discuss. And this is the instruction for the activity. You will be doing that in group.
There are no titles to the table. Oh, sorry. Okay, if you're copying down the instruction, good, copy that down quickly. You will be in groups. So in your groups, you will discuss that. And list down all the substance that, or oh, substances that fall under each of the groups of metal which Lorraine has named which are solid, liquid and gas. And your table to copy down the table. Okay, before you begin, I have some examples here which I have brought from home, and uh, two, two examples which I brought from home. And this is this is from my ha house, the woolen screen and the cooking oil. So, the woolen screen, the string. What group should I put this under? Is it solid, liquid, or gas? It is. Solid. Okay, good. Thank you, Robert. And the cooking oil? The cooking oil. It is a liquid. Right. So now you know what you're going to do. In your homes, there are many substances. So you will look, discuss in your group and list substances in each of this group. Solid, liquid, or gas or you may find them in your home or around your home. You may begin. Discuss so you can have a lot of ideas. Do not work alone. Thank you. 
tell me, man. You're thinking, there are many things in the house. How can you sit and think? There are many things that are in your house that may belong to each of this group. I think one group may be not. But you will find out as you list. So you can discuss. When you discuss, you will know how many things you're going to write down. Good, I see some groups have almost filled up the table. You're not discussing. Talk with your friend. Your friends can help you give a lot of ideas. Yeah, if, if they come from your home, if you think one of them is from your, one of them you can find in your house or around your house, you can write it down. Yep. Things that you find in your home, around your home, or substances that you can find in your home. Okay, what kind of oil? Kind of spray. Good. Many of you are discussing what to write in each of the group, in each of the group of groups of matter, stages of matter. Good. 
good. Can you make your photo? Alright. I'll stop you in a minute time. Write down the last things in it in the column, then you will stop. Good. I have gone around and seen that you have listed as many substance that you can find in your home from the three states of matter, which is good. So we will go through and list some examples of substance you have found in your home. First person, and that would be Alan. To just call what one thing that he found and tell us whether it is found in his home and tell us whether it is solid, liquid, or gas. And Jordan will write that down for us on the chat, and we can see if we have that on our list. If you do not have it, at least it is mentioned. They are all the same. Okay, Jordan, uh, sorry, Alan, next person, Oa. Water, water. Water, and what is, what state of matter is water? Is it solid, liquid, or gas? Liquid. Okay, good, thank you. So when you stand up and say, call a substance, you say, for example, Alan, Alan said water, and you say water is a liquid, something like that, a sentence. Okay? Oh, an X, please. Kerosene. 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 Kerosene, so what is kerosene? Liquid. Put that in a sentence. Kerosene, liquid. Kerosene? Liquid. Kerosene is a liquid. Thank you. We have Samantha. Oh, we are only in one group, one state. Samantha? Pass the mic quickly. Then we have. Christopher. After Samantha is Christopher. Butter, solid, liquid, solid. What is it? Butter. Butter. Butter, okay, butter is a tricky substance. When butter is in the fridge, it is, it is, it can be solid, but when it is left outside, it becomes 
liquid. So, uh, Samantha, when we say butter, which one are you talking about in the fridge? When it melts. When it melts. Okay, melted butter. She's saying melted butter. She's her aunt is melted butter. So melted butter is liquid. Okay. Thank you, Samantha. Rudolf. Rudolf, our next person. Sorry, Christo. Uh, Christopher is not here. We'll have Rudolf. Elizabeth Kali. Cooking oil. Cooking oil. Cooking oil, what is cooking oil? Liquid. Liquid. Okay. We are all writing down liquid. What about the two other groups? We have Samantha, uh, Elizabeth then. Elizabeth and then Helen. Hope. Hope. And what is it? What state it is? Coke. I guess. Coke is a gas. Coke, Coke, the drink Coke. Coke is a gas. Do you drink Coke as gas or you drink Coke as liquid when you open it? Of course it has gas. When you open it, you hear the gas. But when you take it in, is it gas or liquid? Okay, so it is liquid. Of course, when you say it contains gas, okay. Coke is Coke drink. What about solids? Let's have some solids. Helen, name us some solids. Salt. Very good, salt. Thank you, Helen. Christine, next person. Christine, we have. It's Christine. So then, are you fast? Christine? Hairspray. Hairspray. Guess. What is it? Hairspray. Hairspray. Hairspray, it is gas. Okay. Jason. Jason, then we'll have Robert. Hairspray. Hairspray. Write it down. Jason, yes, give your answer. Cooking gas. Okay, good. Cooking gas. Some of us cook with cooking gas, which is a gas. Very good, Jason. Robert, you next. Marble. Marble. Marble is a solid. Marble is a solid. Right. Marble is a solid. Okay, we'll have the last two. We'll have the last two and we'll have we'll have Madhu and Uvao. Martin spray. Martin spray, okay, good. Martin spray. What is Martin spray? 
Madhu, is Motin spray a liquid or gas? Gas. Okay, good. Thank you. Wow, you answer? <coughs> Bottle. 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 Bottle is what? Solid. It is a solid state. Bottle. All right, thank you for that list. I think you have listed a lot in your table, but on our table on the board, we have a few. So we'll go through this. Look at your list from your group discussion. Look at your list from the group discussion and see. Which of those three states of matter have you listed are many? The solid, solid is, solid has more substance or liquid has more substance or gas? From your discussion and on your table. Solid, solid liquid, solid. okay. Good. We said solid and liquid. So every day or daily, we use most of the things that are solid and liquid. We don't, we use a little of the gases like the hairspray and cook, cooking gas, motin spray. We use a few of them, but most things that we use every day are either solids or liquid. We'll finish here. Could someone tell me what? Can someone tell me or describe what a solid is? In one sentence, what a solid is? What they think a solid is? Robert, solid? Somebody, Robert. Oh, Robert, yes. In your own words, what do you think solid is? Somebody get ready to describe what a liquid is. Solid is a thing that is hard. Thank you, Robert. Next person, can someone tell us what liquid is? Thank you very much for that answer, Robert. Okay. Right, we'll have Jason. Jason put his hands up. One sentence. Substance such as water or oil flows freely. All right. Describe what gas, what do you think gas is? An air-like substance with expense to fill any available space. Thank you, Oa, and thank you all for those answers. Very good. Okay. Now we have found, now we know that there are, in this activity we have put some, some substances into the three stages of matter, which are solid, liquid and gas.
word for today or key words are solid, liquid, and gas. Our next lesson that we will be looking at is we will be now looking at solids and materials teaches just examples of what solids are when solids wood iron plastic or any object that fall under the state of solid with that thank you class thank you students and teachers and we we'll see you in our next lesson You're also welcome. Please be seated.